So eight years ago, I started my first handstand 365. A simple idea, practice something every day and progressively get better and better. And I used the handstand 365 as accountability to just to make sure that I practiced consistently enough to make a change. So I went from this handstand to this handstand. And I'm about to start my ninth year of doing this. Now it sounds simple, but how does this work in reality? Today I'm gonna to give you some ideas on what to do if you're gonna join in on the handstand 365. And to give you an idea on how to plan this out, I'm gonna give you some ideas for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. And obviously there's some gray areas between each one. So basically you just commit to doing something on a daily basis. Now I've personally used Instagram to do this. So you can scroll back through my Instagram and you'll see eight years of handstand practice. Now it's not just handstands, I'm gonna work on my mobility, I'm gonna work on my strength and my general body movement that helps me to progress with my hand balancing. So I was working Jefferson curls, pancakes, handstand push-ups, presses, arm balances. And the main thing is creating a daily practice that fits with your level and your current ability, but takes you towards the goals that you want. So everyone's gonna be slightly different with this. So let's first talk about the accountability. So I'm gonna use Instagram as I normally do. So I'm gonna use the hashtag handstand365 with Paul and tag me in any posts if you want me to share them to my story. I'm also gonna create a private Facebook group. I'll stick details down in the description of this video because not everybody wants to share their daily journey publicly. So that will be a private group if you just wanna stick your pictures or videos in there. So some people don't like to follow a fixed routine. So basically you just have to put a picture or video in of something to do with your practice. So it could be you on a foam roller, it could be you doing a quick handstand, so you could just jump up. So I'm not walking up in any way, but I could do a handstand here. Take a picture, take a video, stick it in the Instagram or in the Facebook group or both, and that could be it for the day. Or it could be a 60 minute, a 90 minute handstand practice. It could be a stretch, you could literally go, okay, this was my forward fold today, I done 10 minutes of work, and this is where I got to. So you take a picture of that. My recommendations is you plan it out a little bit more than that. I'd spend the first couple of weeks basically assessing each of the elements. So I would assess and put a picture up for your flexibility of the main movements. So a forward fold, a straddle pancake, front and middle splits, and a back bridge. So there's five days of posts already. I would do something to show your current level of conditioning, so line conditioning, so that could be a uh, chest to wall handstand, that could be a body line drill on the floor. Or it could be a freestanding max hold. I'd put something up to show your current balance. So it might be you pulling off the wall in a straight position, a straddle position, a tuck position. If you're balancing away from the wall, it could be a combination of those movements. If you're working one arms, it could be your current level with the one arm, maybe it's a fingertip hold, or it might be a few seconds in a one arm handstand. I would put something up to assess your strength. So your handstand push-ups, your press handstand. I include all body weight strength in mind, so I do planches and front levers and back levers, chin ups and dips. So remember it's more of a movement practice than just handstands. So there's probably 15 to 20 separate posts there, and if you think that's like your initial assessment, and then day to day you just come up with a different topic. So it could be something like an elbow lever. You could go, okay, where is my elbow lever? You could do a session where you practice an elbow lever wherever it is. You take a snapshot or a video of that. So the options are endless, but what I'm gonna do in the group and what I'm gonna do on my Instagram and on this YouTube video is give you guys ideas and support along the way because I've done it already for eight years and I'm still coming up with new ways of doing this. If you're keen to start, I'm gonna to start tomorrow, which is January 1st, but if you're watching this video in the future, so now this is the past, just start straight away. So your day one might not be January 1st, it'll just be the next day or today. I just label each of my videos or posts day one of 365 or day 10 of 365, whichever number you're on. Let me know if you're keen to join in, stick it down in the comments below. Send me a DM or just tag me and use the hashtag on Instagram. Send me a request to join the Facebook group and I hope to hear from you soon. Speak to you next time, thanks guys.